Good day, students. Today we are looking at leveling of numbers less than one. My name is Olu Bengala Kijo. Last week we looked at leveling of numbers greater than one, and I did say that we are going to this say that we are going to look at leveling of numbers less than one to complement what we did earlier. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to express a given number in standard form and also use logarithm tables to perform operations like multiplication, division, powers, and roots of numbers less than one. So let's go on. From these examples, these numbers are numbers that are less than one. And I did say that for you to convert a number to standard form, it has to be a number that is between one and 10. And so when you look at this number, we to have a number between 1 and 10. That number must be 3.67. And how do we shift the decimal? We have 1, 2, 3. So that means we have shifted the decimal three times to the right. And so you have 10 raised to the power minus 3. The second one, you only need to shift the decimal once to get a number between 1 and 10, which is 4.789. And you have done that in one step to the right. So it is 10 raised to the power minus 1. The same goes for number 3. For you to have a number between 1 and 10, that number must be 6.07. And we need to shift the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times to the right. And that's why you have 10 to the power minus 5. So you can also go ahead and do the remaining ones. Let's go on. <coughs> the logarithm of numbers less than 1 sometimes comes with what? Some form of errors in what? Horizontal addition and subtraction. So sometimes or most times, most students find it difficult to be able to add or subtract correctly numbers that has bar notation. And that is why this video has been, uh, I've, I've come up with this video to be able to help students that want to go into that and subtract or add accordingly. Let's go to example one. You have 0 0.785 times 0 0.03415. Now, if you look at this number, 0 0.7685, and you write it in standard form, you're going to have 7.685 times 10 raised to the power minus 1. And the minus 1 is the characteristic here, which is bar 1. Then, if you go to 4 figure table and you rate 76 under 8 difference 5, it will give you 8857. For the second number 2, if you write it in standard form, you have 3.415 3.415 times 10 raised to the power minus 2. And the minus 2 is the characteristic here. Then 34 under 1 difference 5 will give you 5, 30, 34. And by the time you add up everything together, it becomes 7 plus 4, that's 11, 1. You carry 1 here. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 3 is 9. 8 plus 3 is 11, you write 1. You carry 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14, you write 4, you carry 1. Then 1 minus 1 is 0. Then 0 plus minus 2. Because minus 0 minus 2 is minus 2, so you have bar 2 here. And so, you now go and look at antilog. Go to your four figure table and look at antilog. So, antilog of what? 41 under 9 difference, what? 1. And that will give you 2625. But because you have bar 2 here, which is two zeros. So you put two zeros in front of 2625. So there will be one zero before the decimal and one zero after. So that your answer will now be 0 0.02625. Let's go on. Example two. You have to find the cube root of 0 0.3612. So you have one zero here. So the characteristic is what? Bar one. Then 36 under one difference two. That is from logarithm of numbers. We'll give you 5577. 
Now, because it is cube root, so we're going to divide this log by 3. And how do you go about this? If you look at this, this is 3. So what are the multiples of 3? 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, which is 3, 6, and 9. So it means that the first multiple of 3 that is greater than 1 is 3. So your bar 1.5577 will now be replaced with what? With bar 3 plus 2. Point five five seven seven. Then everything divided by what? Divided by three. So three can go in three. That's one. So you have bar one. Then three in twenty-five. If you take this together, three in twenty-five is eight. It will remain one. Three in fifteen, five. Then three in seven, two. It will remain one. 3 in 17, 6 approximately. So by the time you now find the antilog of 85 under 2 different 6, you're going to have 7, 1, 2, 2. And because you have by 1 here, which is 1, 0, then you put 1, 0, which is 0 0.7122. Example 3, 0 0.6104 raised to power 3. As usual, you find the log of the number. It has one zero, so it is by what? By one. Then from logging of number, 61 under zero difference four will give you 7856. Then raised to power three will be by 1.7856 times three. And by the time you multiply that, you get by one point what? 3568. And the antelog of that is what? 35 under six difference eight will give you 2274. And because it is by one, which is one zero, so you put zero here, so it becomes zero point two two seven four. Let's go on. Then the last slide here, yeah. you have to evaluate this using four bigot table. So you have four zeros here, so you have by four here. Yeah. You have two zeros here, yeah. you have by two here. Yeah. And because it is this, because of this division line, you are going to subtract. So after finding your ninety two under one difference three, which is nine six four four. And 76 under 4 difference 6, which is 8771. So by the time you subtract, it will be 4 minus 1, 3. You borrow 1 from here to here. This makes it 14 here. 7 from 14, that's 7. This remains 5, which is 15. 7 from 15, 8. This remains 8, because you borrow 1 from here. So 8 minus 8 is 0. Then when you come here, this becomes minus 4 minus minus two and this minus and this minus will now become plus so it will be minus four plus two and minus four plus two is what is minus two which is similar as bad two then because of this raised to power two we now multiply this number by two and it will give you by four point one seven four six then you cannot find the antelope of seventeen under four different six which is one four nine five and because you have bar 4 here, which is four, 4 zeros, then it will be 1 zero before the number and 3 after. So your final answer will be 0 0.0001495. With this, I hope you've been able to understand logging of numbers less than 1. You can go over it again to be able to understand better. Once again, bye-bye and have a nice day.